Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm bringing you a couple of games on Call of Duty World War II today. Uh, these are uh, gun game games. I didn't know what I was trying to say there. So, uh, a couple of things. The first thing is, uh, the first two games that I played of the gun game, uh, my Xbox hard froze on the game and then closed out of the game. So, as I was playing it, just in the middle, it does this thing where it just goes, and then it just ends. And you just sit there waiting for a little bit, hearing the sound, and either you quit the game or I thought it would come back and it did not. Uh, and then this, and that was, you know, three quarters of the way into the game, two thirds of the way done with the game. I played almost a full game. Uh, and I was a little bit upset, and I thought, well, that's not a good way to, you know, do this, because I haven't played this game in, like, a almost a week, I think. I haven't played this game in, like, six days. And that was my first game back, and I was like, well, that's not a great omen. And so, then I started playing another game, and, well, wouldn't you know it, same thing happened again. Playing a game, about a quarter of the way in, it just... And then it ends. It's just like, wow, bro, are you serious? So, that was really great, and that's really a good way to come back to the game, uh, after being away from it for so long, is to come back to that. It's just absolutely terrible. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm not going to put I put those in there. I was going to initially, um, but I've decided, you know, what's, what's the point of that? Uh, and so, secondly, uh, I wanted to have some information for you uh, as far as what they've done in recent updates and how the game's come along and stuff like that. Um, but I literally can't get uh, Twitter to load right now so that I can actually check their uh, different stuff. And I can't be bothered to go on Reddit and do it. Although, now that I'm saying it, I should. Um, but, I, you know, it's just... I, I never thought I'd be this person, but now that I have... You know, now that I've had a... Because you know, I didn't even have a smartphone before this year. So, in January is when I got my first smartphone. Uh, my iPhone. And before that, I never had... You know, I never used my phone for anything. You know, just text messaging and calling occasionally. Um, but, now that I have it... Uh, it's really starting to upset me when I try to use something and it won't let me use it or when I try to use something and it goes slow um, And especially now that I'm on the PC also um, I just I don't have any tolerance for things that don't load like it just You know to, to think about the way the world works and to think about the instant gratification you would think that uh, They'd be able to figure out this crap, but they can't so um, I watched this really interesting documentary on Netflix Netflix uh, It was on YouTube, but it was about Amazon um, and it was talking about how, and this was done, it was a 60 minutes, uh, interview that was done in 1999, or maybe it was, yeah, 90, no, maybe 98, and they were asked, they were, uh, asking the chief engineers at Amazon, you know, what some of their focuses were for Amazon itself, and one of the engineers said, oh, we put a massive emphasis on, uh, streamlining everything and making the site as quick as possible. And what they said they found is that if the site was, a, if they said the site was like one second slower or something like that, they lost as much as 10% of their revenue just from having the site be one second slower. So they were talking about like, you know, going into uh, a game, game, man, see, I'm, I'm all over the place mentally right now. It was a long night. I just played six, just played almost six straight hours of uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, so I'm a little... Not, not mentally sharp right now. Um, so what they said was that they focused so much on that, on the hardware side of it, because they realized that um, any sort of latency in the website, any sort of latency in getting the pages to load or in matching results for the person using it could result in as much as a 10% decrease in profit for Amazon. So it's like, I don't get why other, whether other people don't notice that or why other people don't, don't, you know, focus on that. Think about that. Like, I know there's instant gratification, and I and I and I, I, I just like that a lot. I'm, I'm one of those people that doesn't believe in that, you know. A lot of things, a lot of good things are worth waiting for. But in this case, I mean, like to pull up my phone and to have it take, you know, 30 seconds to load something while I'm just sitting here staring at it, it's just ridiculous. And then on top of that, I close it, clear it, reopen it back up, and then it just gets frozen on the page. It's just like, dude, you, you know, like what what makes you think I'm gonna look for this again? You know, Twitter or Apple or, or AT&T. Like, what makes you think that if I pull something up and I go to look at it, and I can't get to it when I want to look at it, I'm just going to get mad and be done with it. I'm not going to look for it again. So, uh, that's just, I don't know, that's something that's that's frustrated me recently. 
Um, you know, because what's the excuse, you know? If you're Apple or if you're Twitter, you have billions of dollars or at least hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and you can't even make an app or a service that works quickly every single time. I mean, I don't understand that. That just makes no sense to me. So anyway, all that to say, it's not going to be typical voiceover. Um, now, this is the gun game on uh, World War II, which they added in. Um, it's currently double XP right now um, through the 22nd, I believe. It's double XP, so, you know, gun game is obviously uh, a free-for-all game mode. So there's eight of you, and you hop in there, and uh, you have to cycle through weapons. Um, the optics seem to be random um, for what I'm seeing. Uh, the guns seem like they're in relatively the same order. Um, or at least they're the same genres, or genres, uh, like classes. So for example, the first one seems to always be a submachine gun, so I've had the Type 100 once or twice, and then w recently I just had the, uh, whatever that other one is, uh, that looks like a Type 100, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, so, it's very, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I haven't played this at all, I'm kind of just looking at some of my stats right here, so I'm still upset that the uh, win-loss ratio is not correct. Uh, it's showing a win-loss percentage and not a ratio. So therefore, you see seven games and seven wins. That's actually a, basically an unlimited win-loss. But because I only have seven games, it's a 7.0 win-loss ratio. But because there's, you know, because of whatever thing, it registers as a 1.00, which in theory is 100%. Um, also, like a 0.59 win-loss, that's absolutely untrue. 0.59 is 59% is win percentage which is basically more like Gun like a 1.3, somewhere in there. So it's just, I don't know, there's a few things, a few little odds and ends that I was disappointed to see are still not fixed. And uh, I haven't looked at that in like two, three weeks probably, and to see that it's still not fixed is, is ridiculous. Stay wary. Pick your um, shots. But uh, this game actually win, so you'll see uh, at one point I go on a really hot streak. Um, I can't remember if it's right here at the beginning. Uh, yeah, it is, mm, maybe. But one of them is just like a really hot streak. Like you just you run at just the right pace. Yeah, it is right here at the beginning. So you run at just the right pace. Now this, uh -huh. believe it or not, I actually thought this was a sniper. And so it took me... Like you see that? And I'm trying to like hit him. Uh, I actually thought it was a sniper. So I had no idea it was a shotgun. Because um, I couldn't find where the gun was listed. And it's normally listed in the bottom right corner next to the bullets. But I couldn't... Didn't show it. And so right here, I was like, oh, it's a shotgun, and then I just started blasting. But yeah, was, uh, gun game's really fun. Um, I always liked gun game in uh, Black Ops 1 when they first introduced it, but in that case, it was actually a wager match. So you could actually go in and, and wager amounts of money. Uh, not You couldn't wager whatever amount you wanted, but there were, you know, three game modes you could do. You could do, like, the just the entry-level one. And it was basically like wagering your, uh, your COD points, so it'd basically be like wagering your salvage in here. And they had, you know, low-level ones, so like 50 was the first one, and they had one for like, uh, you know, 5,000, and then they had the high roller one. So actually, I think it was 30 uh, for the lowest level one, 3,000 for the mid-level one, and then 30,000 for the high roller, which is where you could wager 30,000, you know, 30,000 credits. Um, I wish I wish it was something like that in this one, uh, but, you know, it's not, and you know, I mean, it's not bad. But so, yeah, I just played this game with double XP. I saw a video that someone had put up on YouTube of them playing this, and I thought this would be fun to play. You know, just to sort of mix it up uh, and do that kind of stuff. So, um, anyway, um, I'll, I'll just leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. It's, it's good gameplay. Like I said, I do end up winning, and I end up getting a throwing knife kill at the end, which is my first uh, throwing knife kill. Um, and yeah, I, I really wasn't looking at the guns as I was using them. I was just... It would switch to a gun, and I would just look at what I thought it was and start using it. So some of the guns, right off the bat, I get terrible. You know, like that toggle action, I was trying to get a guy at like, you know, 75 feet, even though it's a shotgun. And uh, certain stuff like that. So anyway, um, if you guys like my content, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I upload uh, pretty regularly. Uh, I haven't done as good of a job recently. Um, but I upload a lot of videos, and there's uh, plenty of other videos on my channel if you want to check those out. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, that way uh, you're... You know, it lets you know when I upload something. So, I appreciate it, guys. I will see you on another one. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>